you know, place kicking. Uh, Lucas Santangelo returns as our primary place kicker. Uh, the duties he handled last year on both our place kicks and kickoffs. Uh, we're looking for him to have a, a, an even better year than he did a year ago. But we've got Matt White, who's done a pretty good job hitting the place kicks, as well as uh, uh, John Coleman. And between the three of them, I think the position is very deep for us. Yeah, we're, we're fortunate, I think, that we have, you know, three very capable kickers. You know, Lucas last year handled uh, for the most part, all the place kicking and kickoff duties. Uh, Matt White uh, was a backup to Ryan Moore at the punter. And, you know, so far, you know, Matt has looked very good and very sharp on his punting. His times are good. He's got great height and he has good distance on the ball. Um, he's also looked pretty good in place kicking. Kamau is the guy who handled most of them last year. And so he would certainly be the first guy on the depth chart right now. I think we've got a couple other guys who, you know, could be handle that job as well. You know, Joe Johnson is, is, is pretty adept back there. And, you know, Ed Royds does handle some of the returns for us as well. Darren Ambush, uh, LaVon Chaney. So there's a number of guys that we can use in, in a return game. And, you know, it's good to have that kind of depth at that position. Well, it, we're just looking, evaluating everybody right now. Today was the first day that we put the entire scheme together back there. Um, you know, Marcus Leslie is, is, is a kick returner, and, you know, I, I think he showed some good promise there. And a couple of the young freshmen, um, I, I think they have a chance to possibly uh, contribute there as well. It's, it's kind of too, too early right now to say, hey, it's going to be this guy or that guy, but I like the group that's working back there. First couple of days, as the usual, is always the toughest. You know, everyone's getting used to the flow of camp. Uh, it's hot out here, and we're just doing the best we can to be the best that we can, and you know, everybody in their position, do all the work we can. Great competition. I mean, uh, both of them, Matt White and John Coleman, are great kickers, great punters. Uh, it's always good to have somebody competing with you. It makes you not only them better, but you as yourself. You learn from each other, and it's just great to have you know someone beside you that can do the same thing as you. The amount of kicking that we've been doing, uh, you know, every single every single period that we have, it's a lot of kicking. Uh, each of us get a certain amount of reps. We get as many as we can to do good, but we also need a limited amount so that we're not overworking ourselves for season and when it starts. Uh, well, you know, we're just looking to make big plays every time we have a return. Uh, you know, I, I take a lot of responsibility, you know, um, having some experience last year. I think I got a better feel for it, uh, a little more confidence. So, you know, we're just trying to make big plays every time we get out there. Uh, well, you know, you want to keep your elbows in so that the ball doesn't go through, uh, you know, through the little basket and you fumble the ball. Also, you know, just put yourself uh, in a position to catch it. You know, some people line up too far back. Some people line up too close forward. Uh, get a feel for the punter in pregame. I usually get a feel for him so I could uh, decide where I line up. Um, actually, in high school, I had a punt uh, two in one game. I, I muffed one of them, but I picked it up and scored. It was probably 65 yards, and then the other one was about 50 or so. So, I mean, I think that was a better game, but that was definitely my longest return I've ever had. Um, well, one of the good things is uh, trying to get your hands in front of you, trying to catch the ball going downhill. It's really one of the biggest things. You can get kind of a uh, forward motion when you're catching the ball. It really helps you get to the hole faster and have a good blocker in front of you. I mean, first thing I'm trying to look for is my off returner to see where he's going, try to follow him up. I read him because he's trying to pretend like he has the ball first. So if I follow him up and then read the blocks off that and find a crease and take it up. My arm so far was probably a Liberty game, even though it was a call back, but it was a uh, nice kick return, uh, had a real good block going down the sideline, and just got clipped. One guy, but plenty more to come.